<laughs> Wolfish here, guys, welcome back. Today we've got ourselves another horror game um, in the universe of Fears to Fathom. It's an episodic horror game. Um, there's quite a few of them. I did play just one of them so far. Uh, this one is called Woodbury Gateway. Uh, apparently here we'll be playing as a student um, with a bunch of friends. They decide to just uh, get away for holidays to have a good time, rent out a place, you know. Um, but yeah, something goes wrong. Fears to Fathom, episode 5. Okay, Woodbury Gateway. Yep, December 8th. Okay, so it's based in the 90s. Need coffee to get done with the day. Coffee. Okay, we can walk faster in this game. I hope I didn't miss anything on the computer. Hmm. Let me actually double check. Can we do anything here with... Um, our Windows 98, 95, whatever PC. Oh wow. Okay, got ourselves some Excel sheets Excel sheets here. Do we have any um any clues? Just some numbers. What's this? Okay. <laughs> Just a video game. Yeah, okay, whatever. Now, about that coffee then. Coffee break, here I come. I couldn't leave just yet, had to get coffee. You just had to get coffee, bro. Really? Need to prep. Need to prepare a cup of coffee. Oh God. Okay. Where did they keep the cups and stuff? It needs water. Okay. So how do I put down the cup then? Uh, <laughs> do I get the tap water or? Okay. Seems easy enough. My hands were fu are full. Okay. Why? It, it's a weird way it says my hands were full. As if it's like in past tense. I don't get it. Such a chill atmosphere. I'm just standing here minding my own business in this... Peaceful, peaceful office. While there's this creepy music playing in the background for no reason. I need to put on a lid. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. RMB to sip. Okay, right mouse click. Ugh. Bro, you're just asking for trouble at this point. Oh, who's this? What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this. Um, I was just checking if you need anything. Sorry to bother you. Can these clients ever make their minds? I know, still working on that report. Just finalizing the report, okay? I guess I wasn't alone in this place. Am I, j am I really gonna go to the bathroom with my Starbucks? <laughs> Lililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililil
walk? Bro. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. Oh, so I'm pl playing as a woman. I just realized that. Uh, how are you? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, shall I ask him how he's doing or not? Um, how are you, bro? Not too bad. I was just finishing up my cleaning rounds. Yeah, I could tell that, bro. Uh huh. I like to clean late because it's pretty quiet at this hour. You're working late again. Uh, yeah, well, you young folks, folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. You too. Okay, nothing to see here. I'll just leave. Can I enjoy my coffee? Oh no. Is that my phone? Bruh, just let me leave, please. Just wanna go home. Hello? Go for Sydney Harper. Who's this? Um. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything alright? Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. Oh, bro. Uh, maybe... Am I making the right decision here? Maybe... Is this guy, like, uh, some uh, kind anyway, of creepy guy, uh, or...? What are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Just more overtime. Work's been overwhelming lately. Um, I'll just pretend that I'm Damn, doing overtime. Hard. That sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. No worries, Harper. <laughs> and I'm Nora. You out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Okay. Hey, I was thinking since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Uh, sure, or sounds good. Okay, sounds Great. good, bro. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Thank you. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Oh, no. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Okay. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well. It'll Shall be just do like it. the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited. I I guess. Excited, I guess. I wonder why. <laughs> Alright, talk to you later. <laughs> okay. Okay, bro. Um, okay, so does that mean we get to book uh, multiple houses or something? Uh... How do we do this, though? Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm just typing. I wanted to type book, and it just types rent. Okay, book. Okay, rent. Fine. Fine. Rent. Uh, cabin. Okay, at this one, I was literally just pressing space, but okay. Okay, bro. It's not letting me use the space, though, for whatever reason. Okay, so I need to... This should be in the address bar, right? Bit weird, but... Okay. Search. pretending to tap here but all I'm doing is just pressing space so 100 okay this looks okay the reviews are just not that good guess I have no choice this is the only one under 100 here goes nothing oh man I really miss the flash loading logo it takes me back private cabin in Woodbury okay seems like 
a fair price, somewhat just two reviews. Why is it 3.1? It's never a good sign, never a good sign. But I had no other choice, I mean, everything else is too expensive. Hey, I'm seeing you get hundreds if thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something of some that happened to me. I'm sorry if someone of... I'm sorry if some of it reads seem weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consultant firm in my city. Uh, life at the firm was a consultant jiggle of uh, deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, uh, which didn't leave me much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental, play, at mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. Uh, one of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend gateway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work, and my other friend Nora was quick to jump on board as well. Uh, the plan was simple, rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came up, came to pick me up. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Where's the finale? Okay, good. Okay, dude. What are you up to? Is that a PSP? Oh, it is. Um, okay. How do I pick up? Escape to hang up. Forgot my suitcase in the elevator. What, bro? G to throw. Is that Mike? Pull into the parking garage now. That's the bro. Oh god, is that Mike? Hug. Okay. That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Just it says hug to see if you smelled first. What? Um, <laughs> will he be offended? Long hug? You look good. So do you, Mike. Thanks for picking me up. Will you have it any other way? Uh, it'll be nice to have a company on the way. This old track brings me back so many memories, right? This bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and uh, we'll get on our way. Okay. Yellow. Okay. Uh, you ready to hit the road? <laughs> oh yeah, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city wouldn't... Would ha what? Would have been a detour for her anyway. Alright then, Harp. Bro. I don't trust this guy. This... this sounds... Sounds too suspicious and what... What kind of greeting is that? It's like... You hug each other and it's like, is that how you hug people? What? 4.26 p.m. Okay, that's pretty chill. It was starting to snow. It's a nice chill atmosphere. What? What is it, bro? Isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now we're... Uh, here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to leave. Yeah, funny how that works. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? How's your new job going? Okay. Working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. Uh, it's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Um, okay. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what do you uh, consultants even do? Uh, we consult? <laughs> that sounds like important work. Yeah, nice conversation, bro. Hey, bro, let me read the message. Uh, do you ever miss college? Sometimes. 
I've got mixed feelings too, but I'm glad it brought us together. Us? Oh, bro, I'm not... What? What was that? Did you see that? Did you see the school bus? See what? There was a school bus, a school bus back there by the old house. Maybe it's just a project, you know. Someone's idea of turning into a tiny home on wheels or something? I've read people do that on the internet. Okay. Okay, don't disturb me now, please. Okay, please confirm when you check in or travel safe. Okay. This was actually a gift. What? Oh, snap. That was close. It came out of nowhere. You know. I read on the internet that it's uh, Native American lore. Seeing a deer across your path is like getting a message from the universe. Yeah, the deer is basically like, bro, save yourself. Get away from this guy. Uh, I really don't like this feeling. I'm pretty sure whatever is gonna happen, it's him. It's him. Definitely. Nice shot. How far is it? In, how far is it now? Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Um. Okay. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. I mean, it's nice. It's kind of beautiful. Okay. Okay. Was I drugged? <laughs> Was I drugged, or is it just like a cutscene? Hello? Five fourteen. okay. Thank god, I really thought the game froze or something. What is this place? Like, uh, middle of nowhere? Yo, Harp, check that out. Uh, okay. Pizza! Oh, really? Seriously? Okay. It's just a bunch of creepy dudes. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared in my GPS. It's like living in the future? <laughs> I'm so hungry I think I could eat the whole pizza myself. Okay. Okay, after you, boss. Authentic Italian pizza. Come on in, hub. Thank you. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate that. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm. Oh, this guy enjoying his pizza. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Mm, so tasty. Let's check in with our field report. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands. Okay? Like, the studio should have really brought some snow. How's the pizza? <laughs> well, my dear, you absolutely can't go wrong with the pepperoni here at most. Every bite reminds you of a story. So what brings you to Moe's? Just passing through, we're headed to the cabin in Woodbury. I'm here on a road trip with my friend. Uh, should I disclose these that many details? What if I tell him? Woodbury. You Woodbury, you say? Beautiful place. I used to camp there quite often when I was a younger man. There's something about being out there in the wilderness. Nothing but the stars overwhelm those memories. Just stay with you. Anyway, I'm rambling, young lady. You made a wonderful choice stopping here at Moe's. Do you come here often? Oh, my dear, I've been here at Moe's. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Okay, bro. What the? How are you doing, my friend? Not bad, you. Whoa. 
What is happening? I'm as good as a man can be, my friend. Are you here for the pizza? Going to grab a slice? No, just looking for a little help. Good luck, bro. Uh, where's Mike? Evening, folks. Looks like the calls got everyone. Korean pizza tonight. Yep. Yep, I sure am, bro. Um, okay. Yes, I'm craving some pizza. Um, you fine folks know what you want to eat? I really didn't notice these three dots. We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese and veggie. And for you, miss? Um, most special? Pepperoni, the, g the old guy said it was nice. Uh, I don't know, just margarita, I guess. Any drinks? Uh, that's it, shit, blah blah blah, just the pizza today, thanks. Mm, Alright then, yep. How much? Uh huh. Order number 27, just grab a seat and we'll call up when your pizza is ready. I'm not too sure what's better, to talk to these random people or just to sit, this, sit here with this guy. This guy is just pretending to be doing something. I have a feeling he's like watching me. Long sniff. It smells so good in here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, number 27. One voice message. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Uh-oh. I guess I'll be staying here with Mike for a while now. Oh boy. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. I can feel it. Uh, anyway, wait. That guy is still there. Um, anyway, how's my... How's my warrior? Please, just give me the pizza. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Bro, I'm sitting right next to you. Yeah, just uh, looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. You really... I don't wanna ask <laughs> what can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh no. Oh no, we have to go there, bro. Oh no, bro. Number 27, thank you. Thank you, bro, you're a lifesaver. I really don't understand these kind of situations. I guess, like, you must be a very nice, friendly person or whatever. Alright, you folks, all set. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I really don't understand this kind of thing. Like, if you feel like this person is creepy or something is off then don't hang out let alone go on a on a on a trip with this person right oh damn this pizza slaps can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb ass pizza I know right okay I'll, I'll get I'll go for this one now mm -hmm, so good oh so good bro damn this kinda makes me hungry you know <laughs> Should I just finish all of it? <laughs> Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust. It's kind of wasteful not to do, don't you think? I'd eat a tie if I was uh, hungry enough. Fair enough, but it's something someone else's ties. We still got a bit of driving to do. Hey there, my friends. Oh, God. Hello there. I saw you pulling drive. 
in driving, that's a nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in the and taking notes? I don't know if it's a good idea to confront these kind of people, bro, you know what I mean? Is it safe? I mean, everything I do and say in this game is like a choice, which affects the ending, kinda, sorta, you know? Uh, okay, I'll go the safe route. Fingers crossed. Not to be a uh, bother, but uh, anything, but I was wondering if you're heading down the road myself. What? Okay. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. I knew it was going this way. Okay, you don't mind if I hitch a ride with you? Yeah, tell me where's your car. How did you get here then? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? What? You all, you all wouldn't even know I was there, quiet as a church mouse and twice as nice. What the hell? So what do you all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Um... <laughs> oh bro. Oh jeez. Um... So, if I stay alone with Mike, he's already, like, hinting on, you know what I mean? Which is, like, very creepy, so if there's gonna be another person, that might save me, but at the same time... What if this guy is a killer or something? He He's pretty weird. Oh, bro, choices, choices. Yeah, I'm not sure what's better, just Mike or another creepy dude. Um, I think if I if I just say no flat out loud, it's uh, f I mean flat out no, it's not gonna be good, right? I mean, there is a middle set, but nah, bro. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can write in the middle. Hell, I'll write in the bed. Uh. We would, we would give you a ride, but there isn't any space. Yeah, I'll go with this. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or, or something? Gee, how did you know? You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people unkindness them, meet unkindness themselves. Uh, you, be you better be caref careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired, that's all. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'll just finish the pizza. Well, that was weird. I feel bad for the guy, though. Uh, he didn't even order anything. I don't feel bad for him, bro. What is he doing? Creepy ass dude. Okay, anyway. Gotta finish the crust as well. Bro, I really need to get myself some dominoes. This really looks too good. Okay, I'm done. Uh, burp? Nah, bro. Just get up. Okay, all done. Time to go. That was good. Alright then, uh, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys! Um, are we close? Let's see, if my GPS is right, it should be about another hour. Give me the keys either way. Harp, the weather is awful, why don't you drive... Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm going to drive so you can get a break. Take a break while I drive. Michael. Why is it? Why is Michael in, just in quotes? I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me uh, the keys. Give me the keys so we can go. Fine, but there is one condition. 
I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Whatever. That black guy was a bit weird, but okay. I was making serious decisions there, and then the guy is just like... Why am I driving? Really? It's interesting though, so basically... The main character doesn't trust Michael enough. So just trying to avoid small talk or the creepiness. The game is acting up again. Oh, here we go. Just takes a bit of time. 5.49 now. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host, okay, I get to drive. WB, That's nice. Your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your heart. Can I, can I crash? As we embrace <laughs> the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Ned and Altus. Why? Why do I have to drive, though? Oh god. Almost crushed in the police. I don't wanna talk about what's wrong or right. me up on the mic. Yeah, copyright music. Oh actually at the very beginning it did say all of the music is copyright free, but I don't wanna risk it, bro. Just in case they change their opinion at some point. Okay, where's the space to get out? Yeah, Woodbury. Why would I get out actually? Yeah. The dog. It's kind of cool how they make these kind of games where you get to experience like driving. Again, I mean it's just part of the story, but still. How do I know? How do I know which one is ours? Will the game tell me? Low. Okay, 35. Yeah, who cares about the speed? Oh, the music is gone now. Or not. I drove past our cabin at first. Okay. Is that the cabin? That's the cabin, right? And this should be it. Okay. I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. It was a very cold night. Can I just throw this at the guy? <laughs> okay. Doors was locked to get the key. From okay. Uh, what was the code again? Uh, five one seven six. Okay. One seven six, yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, after you, my bro. I don't trust you one bit. I'm watching you. I don't like this guy. 
What a great place, I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the joint. Take your time. Uh, while I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Um, I got it. Okay. My house was cozy and well furnished. Oh, the ca the house. Okay. Had to open the cooler first. Okay. How do you open it? Okay, nothing suspicious so far. I mean, just regular groceries, right? Uh, no, 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 I wanna put it back, bro. Just put it back. Okay. Oh, what? What do you want? Why are you here? Hugh, sorry about that, Harp. You okay? Long drive and all. Uh, that pizza really did a number on me. Well, all the groceries are put away. Hang on, I really need to pee. No, bro, I'm not gonna say that. No way. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyway, this place looks uh, crazy nice. It's got that rustic, rustic charm. You just don't see it anywhere anymore. Yeah, it's cute. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. Uh, so, all of the conversations lead to one thing. It's just like the bathroom excuse. Uh... I'll go with this. For sure, hey, I really need to pee, I'll be back. You can go ahead, I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. Mm. Okay. Can I lock it as well? I don't trust that man. The smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. Wait. Hi, we've checked in. Okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna open the door and the guy is standing there listening and... No? I had to admit, but I didn't wash my hands after peeing. You feeling better after the drive? Much better now. I'm good. Want to check out the house? No. So you ready to check out the place? Sure, let's... After you. Oh man. Oh, I don't like this brother. I don't like this one bit. No sorry, the guy is definitely... Trying to force me to go to one of the bedrooms. <laughs> you motherfucker! Who the fuck are you? Oh, hey there. Who are you? Welcome to my home sweet home. What the fuck? What a lovely young couple. We're not... Uh... Just friends? Oopsie daisy, silly me. <laughs> we didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um... I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remember that the TV had been on the fritz here. What? Bro, that's like the worst excuse in the universe. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few of folks left a bad word for it. You know, uh, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, one crazy guy, cro crossed eye guy, or la with l both lazy eyes, he's like, uh, and then you look the other way, and the guy's just like. Speaking of which, uh, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home right now. It'd be a bad, if I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you a grand tour. Okay. Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Right from the start, his presence made me uncomfortable. I'm not sure what's gonna happen now. 
Dude, <laughs> what the fuck? Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom for now. What the fuck? Look, Harp, this room was nice. This room has a nice ass view, sorry. You think that's a nice view, mister? Well, wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Okay, you go, bro. I don't try don't trust any of you. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. Alright folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. What's with that? Shit, it looks a bit suspicious. What are you looking at? Yes, bro. Here's the storage room. Oh, okay. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight um, here on the right. Storms like these, you never know. Oh, so I might need a flashlight. We might not need it. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just go with the thanks. Alright, folks, let's head downstairs now. Okay, flashlight, flashlight. Can I just take it? Straight away? Come and miss? Oh, god damn it, didn't give me a choice. Ha. Huh. Alrighty, folks, I see you already stocked up this, uh... Some tasty... The, this fridge with a, some tasty food. You see the knob. Turn the knob up more, cooling and down the cool it off. Okay. I need to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. The pro is so excited. Where's the other friend? Come on, please. Don't leave me alone with these two guys. Yes, I'm coming. Just need to walk around this table. Oh, what? Why are we in the basement? Um, nothing to worry about down here, just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. Uh, the pilot light, what? The pilot light will fire right up and uh, you'll be back in business. Okay. Hey sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kinda use the basement as storage. Uh, renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. I have a bad feeling about this, man. Not gonna lie. Yeah, let's go. If they mention, well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night, said they could hear something shuffling around down here. <laughs> Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really sleep down here. <laughs> what the fuck? What is happening here, bro? What? 
And the, the, I wonder what thi that what that thing that's shuffling downstairs is. I bet it's you, bro. It's not the ghost. It's you. The looks on your faces. Hehehe. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just joking. Uh huh. Okay. At this point, my creep meter was uh, quietly ping at around six to ten. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, I knew it's not the end of it. What was the name of the booking? I must be I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah Sydney, that's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Is it just me or was this super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there is anything good on TV. Actually I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Where did that guy go? Can I follow him? Okay, don't think it's a good idea to be honest. Yeah, it's shower time. Okay, shower is upstairs, the waterfall, the Amazon waterfall. Wait, I thought the guy came here to see what's on the TV, right? Where did he? Where did he go? He's not in the shower, is he? Okay. Shower door was open. Oh shit, bro. Okay. Uh huh. So you change your mind, you don't want to take take the shower anymore. Oh bro, I for a second there I thought she's like, oh the shower door was open, it was suspicious or something. Okay. Didn't even need to undress. That's convenient. Yeah, you know what? I'll see you guys in the next one.